what's known as the striped grass mouse, the zebra mouse, the Barbary striped mouse is the most well-known mouse in South Africa. The Barbary striped mouse are active during the day, or are seldom active at night, as, fun fact, they cannot maintain their body temperature if the environment is below 5 degrees. They'll excavate a burrow system with entrances, which is well concealed in clumps of grass and create a radiating system of runways with their regular excursions to their feeding grounds. They are common around houses in South Africa. Folks, I hope you're really enjoying this video. If you are, give the video a like and a thumbs up and it'd be absolutely fantastic. If you haven't subscribed, please think about subscribing as it's free. Now back to the video. First time I ever seen these little guys was way back in about two years ago in Chester Zoo. And they were under the dark light, which you'll see a little bit later. The second time I've seen these beautiful little mice was in Prague Zoo, and this is where this section of the video was actually shot. In South Africa, their main predators include lynx, servals, jackals, and a mongoose, as well as beautiful birds of prey, such as the tanting, sorry, chanting, cohawks, and owls, just to name a few. In their constant search for food, these little guys are omnivores, and they'll eat a wide range of things, such as plant materials, seeds, and insects. Their diet actually varies seasonally, as they need to build up fast stores to assist to survive in times of limited food supply. Green plant material forms the largest portion of the diet, with seeds consumption being higher in the summer months, and the insect components of their diet seems to be whenever they can come across them. Fun fact, they can actually go for a long period of time without water, as long as their food contains at least 15% liquid. In the breeding season, the adult females appear to be territorial and have a reduced tone range. Litters are usually born in the summer months, when food is most abundant. After a 25-day gestation period, the average litter size is between 5 to 6 babies and when they're born, they're helpless and blind. But you can actually see the four dark lines ingrained in their, pigmented in their skin. The young are born in grass nests, either within the burrow system or above ground. They'll only begin to wander from the nest after 14 days. The lifespan of these beautiful little creatures rarely goes above 18 months in the wild, but in captivity can be anywhere up to five years. And according to the IUCN, the Barbary striped grass mills is of least concern. Isn't it beautiful how they all cuddle together just to keep their body temperatures above 5 degrees? Folks, if you like this video, you might like Google's next recommendation on the tiny African pygmy dormouse, or a brief look at the beautiful little Turkish mouse. Folks, stay safe. See you in the next one now. Bye for now. Bye bye.